What's up, guys? I'm back playing Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. And thanks, guys, for watching me get the upgrade with the Shine Sprite with Fur Vivian, the Fiery Drinks, and right now, and returning the fourth Crystal Star back from Twilight Town. And right now, guys, I'm in Professor Frankly's office. Let's see what he has to say first. That was written in Princess Peach's email. Yeah, she said something about like a demon. Legendary treasure is actually the spirit of an ancient demon. And those fiends want to use the crystal stars to open the thousand year door and resurrect it. How bone chilling, sadly, it does seems to be consistent with what I've uncovered. What have you found out with Professor? Hmm, this is rather long, so you best listen well. Are all of you ready? And you there, in front of the screen, you listen up too. Maybe I'm missing something. Are you talking to no one? Oh, never you mind. Don't worry about such trivial details. Just listen. The great cataclysm that destroyed the city which once stood here may well refer to this demon. It said that seven crystal stars were actually created by that monster, and that thing used the power of the crystal star to try to control the world. According to legend, the demon was defeated in the end by four heroes. Four heroes? But only the beast's physical form was destroyed, its spirit could not be eradicated. So the heroes used the crystal stars which they had stolen from the demon, and they sealed its wicked spirit within the palace of shadow, locked behind the thousand year door. From this, I gather the crystal stars could not distinguish good from evil. So, if they are all united, they could either seal away or resurrect the demon. It seems that who wields the crystal stars determines if they are used for evil or good. I guess we ought to consider not collecting the stars then. Does anyone think it might just be just better to destroy them at once and for all? That's not true, Vivian. That was my first thought too, but further research suggests we can't do that. See? It seems the crystal stars hold the power to seal the beast for a thousand years. So once a thousand years pass, the power to keep the door sealed shut will fail. And unfortunately, this year may be the thousand year. In other words, we must be ready for the demon's return even if X, F, X knots fail. Greed. Oh, and I guess we'd better find the best of the crystal stars if we want to seal that demon, huh? Where do we start? Hmm. According to the map, it appears to be somewhere on the keyhole key. Keyhole key? I'm not too familiar with the place, but I've heard countless unsavory rumors. You know, the usual stuff, vengeful spirits are full of hatred, cur evil curses, things like that. I'm sure the sea salts down by the harbor no more. No more. You should head there first. The harbor, got it. Thanks, Professor. And I'm gonna switch partners, guys. Spike, my Yoshi friend. Alright, come on, Spike. Run like the wind, dude. You can still get on with this. Oh, wait, hold up. Hold up, guys. I'm in the wrong way. Sorry. And what do you want? Ah, uh, who, me? You ask about. Ah, uh, I am called Flavio. I am, how you say, a traitor that richest man, Rugport. Monetary wealth gives me freedom, yes, and freedom gives me wealth and spirit. And yet, why is that a man whose life is unchained? Must always long for yet more, ah. Uh, what is missing from my life? This tears. Yeah, probably thrills. Thrills, you say, ha. Huh? I suppose one does not need some thrills every now and then. There is nothing like the feeling be of being alone on a mountain, shivering to death. Ah, no, foolish Fabio, Flavio. Not chills, you silly man. What I need are thrills. Wait, pull the horses. That is it. What is? 
now that I'm thinking of it, I once heard of the treasure of Cortez, the Pirate King. The Pirate King Cortez? Yes, this is the answer. Oh, such happiness for me. A hunt for the pirate treasure. Why that just shrieks of romance and thrills and emotion and even money. Do you not know the tale of the Pirate King's treasure, hidden on Keyhole Key? Ah, well, tales say that the Pirate King Cortez hid his hoard of pirate booty there. For years, treasure hunters and ruffians have gone there in search of the loot. But not a single one of them has ever returned. Oh, the horror makes my back tingle. People here whisper that the ghost of Cortez attacks all who seek his treasure eek. It is because of those very rumors that people no longer go to Keyhole Key. But that will not stop Flavio. That treasure is there, yes, and I'm going to prove it. For I am Flavio, traitor extraordinary, our millionaire, sailor of the seven seas. Hmm, <laughs> you're kind of like Captain Jack Sparrow, dude. Why talk such craziness? There isn't anything like that in this dull armpit of the town. You cannot be believing each stupid rumor about treasure some street urchin spews out. No, 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 no. Now what madness come burst, comes bursting from your mouth? You have a treasure map. Well, hand it over. Rather, I mean show me. You are having a joke on me? This map leads straight to the keyhole. Key. Dude, it's called a location that leads to the crystal stars. You swine, you mean you steal my treasure out from under me, you awful, awful man. Who the heck are you calling me awful man? I'm a hero. Well, now I'm confused. You are looking for things known as the crystal stars? Exactly. But now that I'm thinking, a star-shaped stone was said to be in Cortez's hoard. Perhaps I could sell it for a staggering amount of cash. Yes, that would be... Ah, stop such thoughts, thought Flavio. What you need is romance, throws an emotion. I cannot ignore what this business before me suggests this must be fate at work. Flavio shall go with you the keyhole key. Of course, the crystal star is yours, yes, but the rest of the treasure is mine. Huh, you must repeat that. Flavio's ears are plugged. You have no ship? Ha 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 ha. You unfortunate foolish man. Do you know who, know who I am? I will have a sh ship ready in uh, no time, and it will be massive and glorious. Splendid, splendid, splendid. Let us be begin preparations immediately, shall we? I will volunteer myself as our intrepid leader. Yes, and I'll, you'll be like, you'll be the captain. I, excuse me, will be your captain. All right. In that case, lead the way. Let's go, Spike. Run as fast as you can, man. Or should I say Dino Man? You are it, Flavio. Let's leap. Let's leave him and lead him to the beach. Ah, yes, so it is you, huh? Well, sadly, a slight problem seems to have popped up. What's wrong? But feast your eyes on this outrageously fantastic ship. She is a fine vessel, no? She is the SS Flavian, the queen of countless ships in my personal fleet. Sounds more like Queen Anne's Revenge, dude. The raw majesty of her hold. The Palm and circumstance, I mean circumstance, no, none can compare to her. Ah, uh, behold, the elegant curve of her prow, she cuts to very soul, don't you agree? But she is not just a beauty, she is a savage beast in the water, tops among sailboats. But above all, I tell you, this proud ship can... Ah, uh, yes, did you speak? Yes, 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 of course, the problem that has sprung up. I completely forgot about it. The SS Flavian, she bewitches me. Yes, well, here's the issue. We have no air navigator. He ran off the dog. The navigator, of course, is the highest rank helmsman. They steer ships, you know. Now, here's the real problem. The waters around Keyhole Key are deathly dangerous. 
We need absurdly skilled helmsman for our navigator. It is how you say a pickle. Really? Oi, Flavio. Heard you talking there, sir. If you don't mind me saying, I might have a solution. Do not tease me, but Patch. You can solve your, our problem, then spit it out already. Well, sir, I've heard talk of a famed, no, a legendary sailor living in Rugport. Really? Legendary sailor? Who? Yeah, I think he's called Admiral Bobbery. A salty old sea dog by all accounts. But he said to Abe the helmsman touch, sir. He can make any ship bow to his will. Seeing as there ain't a soul aboard, what's seen him on the seas of late. Buzz the boom. Problem solved. Let us scout out this bobbery fellow and get him on board. As is it customary, my captain will handle all negotiations. That will be you, Mario. That does sound fair to everyone, does it not? No complaints. Aye aye, sir. Aye aye. Sounds fair, sir. Good plan. I'm on board. Sure thing. Then it's decided. We must find this Bobbery and bring him here. Our fortune sails with you. Yeah, don't worry, guys. Got this. Come on, Spike. I like the wind, dude. Time to wrap things up. Whoa, whoa. Whew, that was close. Who are you? What do you blocks want? So you must be the Admiral Blobbery. You seek Admiral Bobbery. Never heard of the gent. Take your search somewhere. Excuse me? Now away with you. You seek Admiral Bobbery. Never heard of the yeah, yeah. But we'll be back soon. That we promise you. Admiral Bobbery? Yeah, yeah, I know him. You know that. Yes, yes, we've been to his house. Come on, Spike. Let's do this again. Over here, right? Good. I haven't heard having the faintest idea of what you're talking about. Now, if you please. Excuse me? Drop the axe, Super Stash. We already found out that you're Admiral Bobbery. Yeah, you heard him, dude. Harumph, what poppycock? Tell me, what would you want with me if I were this chap? We need your help, dude. You say your ship needs a navigator, and you want me to do the job? Mm. So sorry, but you'll have to look somewhere. I shall set sail upon this sea. Nevermore. But that's just not cool. You wanna see me beg or something, is that it? You have to come along, only you can get us safely to Keyhole Key. Awfully sorry, dear fellas, but when I say no, what it mean no is no. Jerk. What's the next move, Chief? This salty dude is going nowhere fast. Yeah, good question. Can't figure this guy out. What's his beef for the ocean anyway? Know what we ought to do? Go find someone who knows what this dude deal is. Yeah, agreed. Let's go, Spike. You're right. And I know someone who can help us. You say Bobbery won't go to sea, huh? Well, I 
can't say that surprises me. The real question is, are you folks really sure you want Bobbery back in the water? Yeah. Oh, is that it? Now I see. You want to mount an expedition to Keyhole Key? Rough seas out there. Most sailors would meet their ends. Not old Bobbery, though. The fact of the matter is, Admiral Bobbery's tale is sad. Horribly sad, actually. You couldn't just told us. You'll probably end up crying. But I'll tell it to you if you really want me to. Please do. In that case, get ready. Bobbery was once married. He had a wife and of enduring beauty named Scarlet. He had a wife named Scarlet? The two of them were madly in love, the sort of love reserved for fairy tales. Go on. Now Bobbery was a renowned sailor, so he was away from home for long periods. Scarlet never complained though, and always waited faithfully for Bobbery's return. Bobbery, his eye never drifted. He loved only Scarlet truly and deeply. So they lived and found happiness where they could, and all was good for a time. But not all good things can last. It was particularly icy winter when it happened. Scarlet fell ill, virus, a passing cold. No one knew, but it soon turned serious. Bobbery at sea on a long, long, Lee voyage knew nothing of his bride's suffering. By the time he returned, Scarlet has scabbled, succumbed. She was gone. Oh no, really? Bobbery, of course, blamed himself. My loving wife perished because of me. If I were not at sea, I could have nursed her to health. I could have saved her. He was overcome with such thoughts. They tormented him, always haunting his sleep. He was never gone out to sea since. Perhaps that explains why he was so upset at us. Gee, what a downer. I guess that's a pretty good reason for hating the ocean. You all know this tale now. So, so tell me, do you still want to return him to sea? Whatever. Very well, I understand. If you're that determined, then I'll give you this. A letter? On her deathbed, Scarlet wrote Bobbery a fine, final letter you hold in your hands. I don't know what's written inside, but I can tell you what she told me as she lay dying. Oh. Well, I'm sorry for our loss. But we'll take care of it. Please, take this letter and do the deed I was too cowardly to do. Take it to Bobbery. Listen, Pudley, thanks a ton. We'll deliver this thing you feel better, okay? Let's roll, Gonzalez. Yeah, let's go. Gotta give this to Bobbery. Admiral Bobbery. Ready to talk and feel better? What? Oh my, Blabberton's beard, not you again. No matter how many times you entreat me, my stance is firm. No way with you. Not until you have this. Pardon? A letter? You say? F? For me? What? Scarlet? This is Scarlet's handwriting. Yeah, dude, it's your wife's last letter. Scarlet, my love. My love, you're reading this letter. Then I am no longer by your side. Because fate has stepped between us, I have decided to write you this letter. If you're reading this, I must have passed away while you're out where I see. I can only assume that you will blame yourself for it, my sweet Bobbery. Although my life was short, you gave me more than life lifetimes worth of joy. Though you will mourn, I beg that you remember that time, like love is a time. You are one with the sea as you were one with me. Do not lose both your life, lo life's loves. Time like love, but tie. You are one with the sea, as you were one with me. Uh, a thousand pardons, but may I have a moment alone, if you please? 
Uh, sure. Guess. Yes, love. I was happy. My sweet, sweet Scarlet. I love you still. Happy now? May talk to us? Now then, you were looking for a navigator, I believe. Bound for Keyhole Key? Come on. If you think an old sea bomb like me is what you need, then let's shut her off. Admiral Bobbury, yes. The ship's in the harbor, hmm? I must inspect her before we leave. I shall meet you there. And we will too. Alright guys, thanks for watching me meet Admiral Bobbery and Flavio. I'm gonna continue this tomorrow soon. Please like, comment, subscribe to this game. We do see you in the next video. Bye. All viva zen.